that it will because I don't remember to turn that off. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, and interrupted by a conversation I was having with myself. Don't even worry about it. No, I usually you'll hear me click the thing and like the screen will pause for a second or what have you. Just because usually when I do a test, I make sure that everything correct in the bottom you know when it come, comes down to the corner and then I forget to put it back because I don't want that at the beginning of the video and it's just like I'm gonna have to push it aren't I I'm like yep yeah, of course because I don't remember to do that so we are back today with the night wishes endless forms the most beautiful album today we have Alpen glow which I have again I have no idea if I'm correcting that pronouncing that correctly correcting that pronouncedly uh, but I did google it because I have had a feeling that was something, or some place, or what have you, because of the thumbnails and stuff I've seen. Uh, and here is what came up. This is not me saying it, this is the internet saying it, so don't blame me here. Alpenglow is an optical phenomenon that appears as a horizontal reddish glow near the horizon opposite to the sun, when the solar disk is just below the horizon. This effect is easily visible when mountains are illuminated, but can also be seen when clouds are lit through backscatter. The more you know. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. I'm dark now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that sounds really fucking cool. Uh, also, to note, um, when, uh, when I had a problem with, um, uh, I don't remember what the song was called, with that, with them Temptation song, All I Need, I think this was called, um, and something was going on, the mic, so I was checking it, and I did notice, usually when you don't have headphones on, you can't really tell if you do have headphones on, sometimes you can hear some sounds from my mouth, and maybe if I scratch my facial hair or something, that, in my opinion, are being picked up way too well. Uh, so I'm working on sounds and whatnot. Uh, I dropped my mic volume 3%, and I'm a little bit farther away from it than I normally would be. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it's not too quiet. And hopefully it actually did something. But I'll continue to check it as we go along. So my bad if any of these random sounds was annoying based off of uh, no comments on it and the lack of multiple thumbs down on the video I assume it's been at least bearable so just note that I'm picking up on things and trying to work on as we can uh, I assume this is going to be another wonderful song by uh, Nightwish whenever they kind of do these kind of scenic like songs it's usually reflected uh, incredibly well and the instrumentation and sounds fucking gorgeous so I would expect nothing but amazingness coming out of this song there's quite a few lyrics here or at least uh, uh, it looks like a lot on the page I don't know how fast they go through it it is about five minutes long so who knows we'll find out together this is the audio track official audio track that by Nightwish uh, it looks like it's a live promoting one so there's like a lot of dates and stuff scrolling across the screen or whatnot I don't know if they have the lyrics on the video or not I don't think they do but we'll find out together won't we you probably already know <laughs> but uh, we'll find out together so bada boom bada bing let's not waste any more time Let's get into this bad boy here. Nightwish Alpen Glow. <laughs>
You know, I think part of me finds amusement in these like these moments after, um, right after the song, because uh, I'm sure there's some people like, well, what what did you think about it? Because I'm sure there's the, I, I know there's faces and interesting stuff I I make that could be taken as like, oh I think that means he liked that part. It's like, oh no, that might mean uh, that face might have been like he didn't like that part. So there's always a the moment afterwards it's like you know, that spinch is like how do I feel? Am I gonna start shitting on something or did I like it? Though with Nightwish it's I would say it's pretty safe if you've watched all my other Nightwish stuff that there's a high chance I really liked it. <laughs> I mean Again, there's only been two songs I heard so far in the almost three albums now that have been like, meh. All the albums have been like, that's a lot of So, it's a pretty safe bet. But part of me gets amused, just like, let the suspense build. I don't know. Um, I don't know how they keep doing it. Like, when I think I got them figured out, when I think I'm like, oh. Song's called Alpen Glow. I know where they're gonna go with this. Like I, I've, you know, I've been around the Nightwish block. I know they're gonna kind of make it like this, and then just not even close. <laughs> like just completely surprised me. It's just like I wasn't expecting that, uh, and I love that. Like again, they find a way to keep keep it fresh because i'm just like oh it's probably gonna be like this and then when it's not it's just like i don't know how they keep fucking doing that <laughs> so that's cool um uh, by the intro of the song it was just like yeah yeah it's gonna be like that and then they're just like nah they like they, they put that there purposely like oh yeah yeah switch up fake out <laughs> that's cool that was uh that was not what i expected and uh that was cool. That was really fucking cool. A thing I noticed in there that I didn't write down is the uh, callback to the previous song, a few songs ago, uh, where in the middle there it says building a walled in of our own. I see you there. I see you there. Um, and it also gave me the thought that there's more happening in the song than just the definition I read. Because, uh, you know, the same like we were there and blah 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 so I'm sure there's some kind of story along with this that I don't know I don't know what it is so I'm not gonna pretend like I do and just or not gonna make a guess or whatever because I don't know but really cool I I, uh, I could just uh, you could just tell that there was more happening and the fact that I didn't know what it was was just like intriguing you know what I mean but there was, there was some really pretty stuff in there so I think we're going to uh Let's scooch over to Doozle. Back to the beginning here. Um, by the way, uh, I just want to say, oh, 
God, sometimes I just amaze myself. <laughs> I never intend to rhyme, but then when I do, it's like, phew, blow my mind. They're not even good rhymes, but it's blowing my mind. It's good for me. Um, I did. I was going to release um, our Decades in the Sun on Christmas. And I was like, I would prefer, you know, not to have the video where I scold people beyond Chris, my that's just bad etiquette, so I released it the day after, which was yesterday. Um, so this is the first video of Nightwish. Well, of, yeah, of Nightwish. It was happening while I was recording World of Warcraft Season 2 <laughs> and 3, which is very interesting. <laughs> I was just in there, just like my phone blowing up. I was just like, God damn, like reading the messages and stuff. Um, I don't know. Like, this is, so this is the first reaction video I'm recording after the release of part five of this album and um, I gotta say I'm touched I am definitely touched um, uh, <clears throat> I, 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 I expected just more trolls uh, after that, but the number of people that like, it almost felt like they were like, kind of hiding in the shadows, afraid to say anything because they didn't want to get trolled. Uh, but then the second when someone called them out, they're all like, yeah, fuck you guys, and just came out. I was just like, shit. So I was uh, honestly touched. Uh, like I was just kind of smiling the whole time I was recording World of Warcraft, just looking at the messages. I was like, god damn. <laughs> so yeah, I really do appreciate that. Um, and uh, uh, I'm not going to mention it now. I'm going to mention it at the end of the... I got a lot to mention at the end of Greater Show on Earth, so I'll, I'll definitely make sure to put in chapters so you can easily find the parts that you want and you're interested in. Just note that there's... I'm going to keep mentioning it occasionally. Make sure to check the end. But it now will have a new light from what I said, uh, I believe, in Walden. I don't know how much of that I'm going to leave in or cut out. I feel like I'm going to leave all of it in, but it is like a 10 minute intro. So I mean, I'm going to consider how much I might cut out and might, might not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah. I just want y'all to know um, that I appreciate it. <laughs> it, was, it was really cool. And it kind of, it might have saved the future <laughs> of Nightwish. But we'll get more into that on song 11 make sure you come back for it check it out um but uh i do want to say i'm not gonna i'm not gonna use specific names uh but uh, i i do enjoy messing with uh people that i feel maybe take floor too seriously like or, or maybe a little too like crazy about it uh so i just want to say that uh I'm, i've never been angry by any of the messages I've gotten. Uh, I, I was kind of angry at the overall... Uh, not angry. I was really disappointed and just kind of like, what the fuck? At the f initial backlash, which is why I made that introduction to number five. Um, but um, but uh, there's one person in particular that I've really enjoyed our back and forth. Um, and you'll probably know who you are. Uh, I would, Just in case, if you're wondering me... Um, <laughs> we just recently talked about Rebecca Black and <laughs> still going on and, uh, this and that, um, uh, like you specifically, I, I, I hope you're not taking anything I'm saying personally, <laughs> like I'm just, I'm really enjoying our back and forth. I'm having fun with it. Uh, and I hope you're having fun with it too. Uh, cause no, at the end of the day, like there's no hard feelings, my man, or whatever you identify as. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm having fun with you. I just wanted to put that out there just in case you're listening. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as I am. So let's get back into this for all of you who are just like, I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> I'm just giving back to those that are given to me. You know what I mean? So I wanted to take a moment to do that. But let's start giving back to those that gave us this amazing music. Like, shall we? Uh, first thing I got here. This is 50 seconds in. So we're going to jump forward here. I'm gonna try, I feel like I've forgotten already how the song went. My, my memory's not great. Um, so, 50 seconds here. Approximately, I said back hits. 
don't ex- I, I, I will know exactly what I was talking about, but I think current moment i don't so let's 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 really that by the way i really like the pictures and everything uh the big a, f- a few seconds back here yeah this one specifically i uh i found it amusing because like they, 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 i think they made they've made jokes about it on like south park and stuff i just think it's funny when it's like whenever you take like a band picture and stuff like you gotta always have like like the one like a few people that are just like looking like all intense and epic into the camera but then you gotta have the people that just like looking off in the distance as if they don't care or something like it's just like it's band 101 whether that's whether that was intentional in this picture or not i just think it's funny that you got the few people that are just like kind of looking off you know I'm a little aloof it's whatever and then you got the people in front just like yeah like staring straight I was like now this is how you take a band picture right here they they know they know I just thought that was funny I just (laughs) I really enjoyed some of these pictures I thought they were really cool um so let's listen let's find out what the hell I was talking about shall we Yeah, I think it was that particular. I I kind of like a lot of the things that were kind of going on there in general, uh, but I think I was talking about the dun 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 dun. You know, that little, that little uh, I believe it sounded like keyboard to me, but I'm not 100 percent positive. Could have been also strings. Uh, I have to listen to that again, um, or a mixture of the two. But uh, there's there's a lot of little things happening in the back there. The piano, the clear piano there, dun, 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 that that's uh, that uh, is doing the same thing as the guitar there. Again, I've mentioned before, there's a lot of amazing piano and guitar together work that they have just in this album in general, which I think is really cool and it sounds really awesome. I think it's a really good blend between kind of like the more heavy rock metal aspect of the instruments and also the more classical put together just it's a great blend in general um oop that would be on that i just really like that it 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 does sound more string like but i could easily see it being either or both um, but yeah, I just like that dun 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 dun, dun kind of sound there. It's, it's, it's really it's playful, it's really cool. Uh, next thing, we're just gonna let it roll out here because I said around 105. That vocal line though, and then it's gonna continue with some more stuff after that. But first, I want to hear that vocal line though. Once upon a time, a song was I love that. I think that's a little bit of what I was talking about with the back hits there. Dun dun dun. This is like coming back. Yes, it's awesome. It's playful. Yeah, I remember it. Like listening to it, it was like okay, and then like they just dropped it on me. I was just like oh, okay. It was really cool. <laughs> so we're we're about to have it. I just want to bring it up though. The first is like yeah, it's kind of what I expected, and then like whoa, very very fascinating. It's just, it's just like all of a sudden it's like whoa i was not expecting that i feel like i've i feel like there's a song i've heard that in before but i don't hear that that kind of effect very often and i was just like whoa <laughs> that was really fucking cool um that th- what the fuck did i say mm, right i think i was just kind of uh just kind of in general kind of talking about how like was way more heavier and like crazier than i thought this song was gonna get i thought we were just gonna get a beautiful mountainside scenic gorgeous song and they turned up the heat i was like holy fuck and also was i think it's about to come yeah uh every time almost every time they say we were here is fucking epic the way they say it was fucking epic right heroic that's what i said uh once it gets to the chorus here it sounds like almost like triumphant and heroic which is 
not the one I thought I was going to go for. Especially when they say, like, we are here. It just kicks it off. And it just sounds as, like, just a like, triumphant moment or something. This is really fucking cool. I like that rhyme between prairie and story too that's really cool uh anything else i got here uh let's get forward here about 220 i was i mean obviously there's more i have to say but i was just wondering if it was within the specific course in general uh the course kind of just continues around the same that epic heroic line so we're just going to jump forward to 220 uh because it's kind of and they did the first time too, but I just didn't really mark it or note it down until 220 here. But they have that whole kind of build that we were just talking about, that crazy change up that I did not expect. And then it kind of almost fades off. Uh, it's like it's, it's like it like softens when they say the truth is easy to see, which is interesting. I felt like they were going to push it all the way through, but they just kind of soften it on that last line there, that last little stanza there, which I think is very interesting. <sighs> um, oh, and also on this one, I, I didn't, I don't think I heard it the first time, but if I missed it, that's my bad. Uh, on this one here, the, 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 yeah, I could see by the lyrics. It, it, it was, it's different this time, uh, that we were here pickup that I think was Marco, but I'm not hundred percent positive. Uh, was fucking cool. Change it up. I love that. I love when they change it up. I mean, we go five seconds previous and see if we can really get into this here. But yeah, I like the way it kind of softens on the last line. And that pickup we were here into the chorus was that was, that was pretty mind blowing. That awesome, like it's easy. It's pretty quiet too. It's it's easily noticeable when, especially when you're looking for it. it uh, but I could see it being overlooked. Just those, no, just that voice that's just like we were. It just like really push it and do it. Oh, and it says here right when they fit, right when the other when the floor comes in with we were here and they kind of land at the same time. That's pretty fucking epic. Close your eyes. So cool. That little drum fill kick there. That was fun. That was cool. Uh, I like that. That's really, really cool. Um, coming up here soon, I'm just going to let it keep going. I got around 320 here. I, I noticed this, and I don't know if this was just in my head. Um, I feel like I also noticed something when they said, you were on my path, my home, my star. But I noticed when it uh, said, a beautiful tale within a tale. Like, the theme like, it seemed that kind of, the way they were singing it, and just kind of the way it was backed up instrumentally, almost sounded like some fairy tale like music i don't know if i'm just was, that was just in my head or if that was intentionally done but i thought that was pretty cool so we're gonna let it keep going and i'm gonna see if there's any, anything with the first line there that piqued my interest <laughs> Da, 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 da. There's kind of something about that melody, just 
kind of has this like mystical fairy tale like nature to it. And I think that's intentional. Or it's just all in my head. One of those two, I would guess. I would wager. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. And in this whole part, again, we're going to let it continue. Um, actually, we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to let it keep running out, probably to the end here. Um, and I'm just going to list the three kind of things I noticed, and we'll hear them as they come in. Uh, one, it brings it down really soft at this part. And then around 345, it feels like she gets even softer with it, which was like, woo. And then just out of nowhere, not in a place where I would like expect, like either musically or phrase-wise, all of a sudden they just kicked it back up to where it was. Just It was seemingly out of nowhere, uh, which I thought was really cool. Instead of being like, okay, here's the place where we normally would do that, and here we go. Caught me by surprise. I love that. I like that. When you do it well, I should say. Because sometimes it was just like, hmm. Uh, like at the end of whatever song it was that I mentioned was just like, oh, I felt like you should have ended it. Uh, when you do it, uh, um, the way I think like written really well, it, like I like when you break the mold. It's really cool. Uh, and so it just uh, got me the best surprise. So let's... Let's hear all that unfold real fast. And when the dust needs to move on, I'm a tucker sitting on a bed of snow, painting white silence in the valley, breathing togetherlessly, devoured by life. We were here, born in the endless prairie, writing an endless story. So, pause it here, because we're about to get into it. Again, here's where the fake out, here's where the twist comes in. Because if they were going to, first off, that bring it down to that whisper level, crazy. Especially on the last chorus, that's ballsy to do. Um, but it like, sounds really cool. And then you're expecting it after building a Walden of our own. When they hit the we were here, you, that's where you expect it to pop back up. But that's not where it happens. That's fascinating. I think there might even be a key change in there. <laughs> Hold on. Let me hear that again. But yeah. They're just out of nowhere. They just boom, pump it back up. After you were like, oh, we were expecting it to happen here. What? Oh, whoa, there it is. That's fucking cool. That's really fucking cool. And I... I think I hear either a modulation or a key change. One of those two. And the, uh, I don't have this written down, but uh, you can hear that, that the harmony she's doing in there with herself. Really cool. Really gives it that extra punch to the end here. And I like that end to that song too. Uh, not not drawn out. It's just like repeat their motif and end in the middle of it. Clean. It's a clean ending right there. Damn. <laughs> you know, I really don't. Uh, <laughs> I really got much more to say than that. Uh, that I that I I, I love how much like that, that what the journey that that song went through, like just kind of starting out like oh yeah this is kind of what I expected and then all of a sudden getting that like that gritty part in there it's like oh okay and then just bringing it super quiet just like oh nice little peaceful bridge in here and then it's like let's get it even quieter it's just like. 
we're taking it to another level. Uh, and before that, of course, the heroic chorus is just fucking epic. Coming back to where we back were. Uh, and then, like, okay, it's going to pick. Oh, did not. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, there it is. Just so many wasn't expecting that and fake outs in here. I love that shit. Like, that is. That song took me on a journey. I think there's a reason for that. I see the right. I see what you're doing here. Uh, yeah, that that was that was a mind fuck in a good way. I like that. I really like that. Oh damn! All right, next one here. I'm also gonna Google because uh, the um. The images I've seen, I'm pretty sure this is a person. And all the images I've seen, this person, I think female? I don't know. Don't, don't crucify me, I'm guessing here. Um, uh, it seems like there's like a, there was like a huge story about this person. I, and it's an instrumental song as well. I'm just putting that one out there if you didn't know. Um, but I think like... From again, this is, I can only speak off of the still images I saw. It seems like this person like went missing or something and then showed up or some shit. I don't know, uh, but the eyes are like like piercing into your soul in the picture. So I think that's why it's called the eyes. I assumed <laughs> again. I'm not great with many pronunciations. Um, I assumed it was Sharba Gula, uh, and then I ran it through. Because uh, I was like, I'm pretty, very positive it's not Sharbat Gula. <laughs> so I assumed it was Sharba. I assumed the T was silent or soft. Um, but uh, I ran it through uh, Google Translate. Um, and it, it sounded like you could kind of hear the T. Because uh, I just I told it to find its own. <laughs> search for its own translation language I didn't assume any language it's like find your own because I don't know what it is uh, I think it said like Hindu or something I'm not, or Indian or, I don't fucking know uh, I don't think Hindu is a language but I could be wrong I don't fucking know shit I'm just going to put that one out there don't take anything I say as fact I don't know shit <laughs> uh, but then I put it I put it through English translation and it just straight up was like Sharbat Gula. I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I think you pronounce the T, but I like saying Sharba. It just sounds fun, but I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. But I'll learn a little bit more. I usually don't do a whole lot of research, but this one intrigues me. So I'm just going to do a very rough surface <laughs> scan uh, before the next one. But that's the next one we have. So I will see you all in the next video. Let me know if there's anything I missed in this song. Because there is a lot of cool stuff. And if I missed anything, if I didn't bring it up, let me know. I'd love to check it out. I'll see you next time.